Hello, Ferry doing again, um, Tavasoli's electrical training channel. Here today I'm introducing this new uh, <coughs> tool that I bought. It's very useful, it's been handy. Uh, it's an upholstery stapler. There are different types and brands of them out there. <coughs> I found this one very, you know, reasonable price and cheap. This brand is Kangs or Kangs, Kangs or whatever it is, and it is um, for staples of four to fourteen millimeters tall and ten to fourteen millimeters nails and U-shaped staples of. 10 to 12 millimeters now the way you use this it comes in this kind of box it comes in this and this brand particularly um, you, Kangs, you can't find the staples under that name I couldn't find anyway but uh, the equivalent for that the staples that you can find is Amtic under the name Amtic stapler, upholstery stapler. And like I said, different types of staples will fit in that. It is very versatile and I've used it for my green greenhouse. Um, <clears throat> you can either use normal staples in this shape. Like I said, different sizes you can use from 10 to uh, 14 millimeters it says that on the back of it in fact it's 4 to 14 millimeters for U shape is 10 to 12 millimeters this is the U shape staples in this case this case is uh, 12 millimeter and also I have some samples of <clears throat> it comes with these samples, they're not many, but there's 200 of each type. And these are nails, uh, so you can just feed it with these nails. Now the way you feed or use this stapler is that uh, this is just a hanger and there's a, on the back of this, if you press this in, and push it down it'll come out the spring will come out spring loader and the staples that I've just bought this is the Amtic brand and it fits in perfectly and this is 14 millimeters uh, which is what I wanted <coughs> 14, mil 14 millimeters tall so you have to have you have to know the brand because otherwise there are they are coming in different thicknesses and sizes which they don't tell you on the box. So you just have to know the brand or the uh, the, the, the number. You get the staple, feed it in here, push the spring in. Push it up so it clicks in there, and that's it, ready to go. Now, this is your adjustment for the pressure how much pressure you want. I've put it really down so it, it gives you the maximum pressure to force the nail or staple right into the, the object. If you don't want that much pressure, you can always dec decrease that by turning this up, turning the screw up uh, as you turn it in as you turn it out you de decrease the pressure as you turn it in you increase the pressure behind the staples or nails and that's it and <clears throat> another handy tool for, for you to have as an engineer whatever you do be safe these are uh, extremely dangerous if you leave it at the hands of children especially you shouldn't be playing with these these are things that you know you should know what you're doing with um, 
I'll just show you some examples of the staples, just a couple of examples. Well, you can see my greenhouse here <coughs> and I've stapled all the sheet onto the uh, wood frame. I've used these uh, rubber uh, pads so it, you know, it doesn't tear the sheet and I've used this stapler to staple all that. I can just put another one so you can see. Let's just say I just want to practice on this one. Uh, it's already loaded and you just put that there, press it in, bang, in. It's gone in and that is good. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again with another engineering video. Goodbye for now.